EOE 5 meeting. Thanks to all, yesterday's meeting ran very smoothly, and I'm sure that uh, today is another exciting day. Today, we have a special topic session titled Pre-Publication uh, Image Data uh, Management and Processing, chaired by uh, Jason Swedero and uh, Shuichi Onami. And the first uh, chair is uh, Jason. Jason, please. Thank you, Naoto. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I think that covers everything um, to everyone. Um, it's great to see everybody um, back here today. Um, and as uh, Naoto mentioned, we have an exciting um, program scheduled for the day. Um, I'll chair the first session, and then Shuichi Anami, my colleague, uh, leading the Image Data Working Group for Global Bioimaging will chair the second session. Uh, we'll finish with a, um, a panel discussion uh, led by uh, Jan Ellenberg a little bit later. And if we get all the tech right, we have a surprise for you, uh, which we'll tell you about um, uh, in a little while. Um, okay. Um, as you can probably see from the program, um, um, and hopefully you remember from yesterday, lots of um, challenges are presented by um, various uh, members of our community of handling um, data, pre-publication data. And hopefully today, our goal was to present um, some possible solutions might be generous, um, that we get all the way to solutions, but at least um, some ways forward. Um, and so to kick us off, um, I'd like to start um, and introduce Anna Kreshop from um, EMBL Heidelberg. Um, Anna is a group leader at EMBL um, and probably is one of these uh, individuals who needs almost no introduction. So Anna has led the development of the, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing with you, Anna, um, has led the development of a, of a tool that um, I think many of you know, and those of you who don't know will will want to know about is a tool called Elastic. Um, it's an open source tool that is really absolutely fabulous. Um, and she's, um, but also critically, not just the development of the tool, but the application of that tool to a whole, um, um, uh, a wide range of different applications in biology. She's a computer scientist by training. And I can tell you um, the joy of working with Anna is, um, is uh, working with a, person, uh, you know, trained as a computational scientist, but dedicated to bringing those tools um, um, to, uh, into the uh, biological domain. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to leave it to Anna. I just want to remind everybody, please turn off your cameras and mute your microphones. Um, and we'll have, um, and when you want to ask a question, uh, you can, during the talk or after the talk, please type it in the chat and time allowing, we'll try to get, get through all of those. And without further ado, I hand it over to 